Hey guys, thanks for stopping in again. My name is Peter. Um, we'll be working on a Chevy Silverado today, putting on a hitch. Super simple. We'll get it on, get you out to the outdoors, fishing, hunting, camping, bringing your family around, moving across country with any U-Haul trailer. Let's dive into it. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. All right guys, as I stated earlier, Chevy made this super simple for us. We're gonna be doing the three attachments on each side. Um, they've already pre-drilled two of the holes for us already. One there, one there. This bolt here, all we're gonna be doing is simply backing it out, putting the hitch into place, and putting the bolt right back into place. We can do one on each side like that, three, and we'll be good to go. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna be doing is pulling that rear bolt out. We got a 21 millimeter socket on our uh, electric impact. We'll be going ahead and pulling these out and getting them ready for our installation of the hitch. All right guys, to get this hitch into place, what we'll be using is our exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these at home, you might want to get a second pair of hands to help you get this hitch into place. It is kind of large and heavy. Let's go ahead and put this in. Once we have the hitch into place, you'll want to line it up with the holes and you'll take that existing fastener, put it back into place. That'll help line up the rest of the holes for us. Once you have that first bolt in place, we'll be putting in next is our carriage bolts and plates. It's got a square hole in it that matches up with the bolt here. We'll slide it into place here. It'll line up right on this hole here. and one more in the back. Once we have it in, we'll be putting in the rest of our holders. The holders consist of a conical tooth washer, which will be facing towards the hitch with our nut on the back side. And then we'll repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have all of our hardware in place, we'll want to torque these down to spec so we can get this thing hauling. This back bolt here that we had replaced, uh, put back in, that one's going to be torqued down to 115. These two back ones here, they're going to be 75 foot-pounds, and these back ones here are 19 millimeter nuts. And then we'll do the same on the driver's side. All right guys, some important measurement tips here. From the back side of the hitch here, it measures flush with the actual bumper itself. From the pinhole to the end, measures two and a half inches. That'll help you with some measurements for any vertical posts like bike racks, cargo carriers, anything like that. Second measurement is gonna be the ground to the top of the uh, inner receiver tube, measures 20 inches. 
That'll help you with any draw bars, with either in a draw position or a rise position to help you with your hauling. All right, so let's go over some features about this hitch. It's got a two inch squared opening design with the collar around it. Got two large tow loop hooks for your chains and it's got a nice round tube design that goes with the good looks of the truck. Now that we have this installed, you can see how easy it is. Quick 15 minute job. Come see us, we'll get you hauling. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.